everyone, Danzels and DIY here. Today we're going to show you how to make artisan amethyst geode soaps just like this. These make great gifts for the holiday season and also make gorgeous focal pieces for kitchens and bathrooms. We want to thank Candle Science for making this video possible by supplying us with most of the ingredients we used from their Soap Science product line. There are links in the description below to most of the products we are using, so go ahead and check them out there. These are a lot of fun to make, but they do take a lot of time. They also can make a great project to do with friends and family. So, let's get started. To make these soaps, you will need contoured oval top plastic mold, square silicone mold, three pour pitchers or melters, weight scale, straight blade cutter, a microwave, a fridge, silicone work mat, silicone spatula, one small glass cup, like a shot glass, paintbrush, glass bowl, an exacto blade, smooth glass cutting board or plate, rubber or latex gloves, one half teaspoon measuring spoon, stir sticks, purple and or magenta liquid soap dye, half teaspoon gray cosmetic mica powder, two pounds goat's milk soap base, two pounds glycerin soap base, fragrance of your choice, and rubbing alcohol. Take a clear glycerin soap pound and use the straight cutter to chop it into even sized one inch cubes. Take your three pour pitchers and distribute the cubes evenly among them. Now take one of your soap pitchers and microwave it for one minute. After that, stir your soap gently and microwave them in 20 second intervals. Stir in between microwaving until they are nearly completely liquid. If the soap starts to foam, it is too hot and needs to be removed from the microwave. If this happens, take it out and stir it by hand until it is completely melted. Add about three drops of your preferred scent to the soap and stir it thoroughly. After that, pour the melted soap into the square molds till it reaches about one third of the soap mold. Do this until you run out of soap, but don't worry about filling every mold square. Now take your second pitcher and melt the soap. Add one to two drops of your purple or magenta dye, as well as approximately three drops of scent and stir it until it is thoroughly mixed. Hopefully your first soap pour is starting to get a skin over the top of it by now. But if not, just wait a couple more minutes. Once it is solid, pour your melted second layer on top of each square until it reaches another third of the way up the molds. Last, melt your third soap pitcher. Add as many drops of dye as it takes to get a nice rich color. Add three drops of scent and then mix thoroughly. Once the last batch is solidifying, pour this last layer over the top until each mold container is filled to the brim. Now put these molds in the fridge and wait until they are completely cooled and solidified. This is probably a good moment to clean your soap containers and tools and start the next portion of the project. Now cut and weigh four ounces of goat's milk soap base. Chop it into one inch squares and add them to a pour pitcher. Now take your soap pitcher and microwave it for 30 seconds. After that, stir your soap with a spatula or stir stick gently and microwave it in 20 second intervals while stirring it until it is nearly completely liquid. Once your soap is melted and soft enough to stir properly, add three drops of your fragrance of choice to the container and stir until blended. Take your soap pitcher and pour the soap into the oval molds evenly and then lightly move the molds around to get it evenly across the molds like this. You may need to use your fingers as it starts to harden to press it into the general shape needed. Now take those purple glycerin bars you made and remove them from their molds. Take your straight cutter and chop the squares up into slightly tall triangles of varying sizes like this. Take your straight cutter and exacto blade and cut the edges of the triangle so that you get hexagonal shapes. Last, cut the pointed tips of your soap hexagons like this. Facet the edges so that they look like crystals all the way around. After that, set your soap crystals aside once they are done. Measure out and cube five more ounces of goat's milk soap. Put this in your melting pitcher and microwave it until it is liquid like before. Add three drops of fragrance to it and then pour it till it just fills the round portion of your first oval mold. After that, add all the soap crystals you can to the mold face up like this. Do this step with your other three molds. Please go easy on how much soap you pour into the mold on this step, otherwise it will start to spill out as you add crystals to it. Now, carefully put these molds into the fridge again and wait for them to harden. Once they are hard, pull them out of the fridge and carefully remove them from the mold and set them aside. You may also want to shave the sides of your soap bars with your X-Acto blade if you have any that got too full and spilled. Cut and weigh out a six ounce chunk of clear glycerin soap base. 
Put this into your pour pitcher and microwave until liquefied. For this step, we actually use some of our leftover shavings, as the gray mica pigment easily covers the leftover color in the soap. While it is liquefying, take your gray mica powder and mix a half teaspoon portion of it with rubbing alcohol until it is properly blended and liquid enough to pour. Once your soap is melted and soft enough to stir properly, take your mica powder mixture and pour it into the soap. Now, stir until the color is well blended. Add a couple drops of fragrance oil to your soap and blend it. Now take your soap and put it into the glass bowl and wait for it to cool enough to become a little thicker but still liquid. Take your paintbrush or even your fingers and paste globs of the thickening soap onto the rounded end of your gem to create the rock exterior. Now take your leftover gray mica soap and heat it up enough to remelt it. Take the pasty gray end of your soap bars and roll them into the melted gray soap to gloss up the way it looks. After that, carefully lay your soap point down until it dries. Additionally, you can take your straight blade cutter and trim the edges of the soap geode so that your crystals shine through. After this step, you may need to press your gray soap back onto the bar. And with that, you have your finished soap. These are some of the nicest soap bases I've ever used. They're super soft and gentle on the skin, especially the goat's milk soap base. I've already showered with them. I really like the pigment that we used, the liquid soap dye. It was very concentrate, so it was really easy to get to the color density we needed with our soaps without using a ton of it. All in all, really impressed with the supplies. They're very easy to use and very quality. Thank you guys so much again for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to get notified every single time we release a new video, don't forget to hit the bell notification symbol next to the subscribe button. See you next time! It's not gonna taste good. It smells like pine. Yeah, you, you don't want to eat pine anyway. <laughs> Cause it's a tree. No. <laughs> <laughs>